Hello, welcome to this set view session how to work with shape links. Over to Luke. One of the main new functionalities sat view enables us compared to P1X is the ability to present a shaped network. Previously as part of P1X we were able to import a GIS file and show bendy links but given the lack of a mapping background the use of this was fairly limited. As part of sat view with the Bing Maps background the, the need for bendy links has increased so the software allows us to both import an existing bendy links file in the form of a .gis file and also to create bendy links from the software itself. Firstly in terms of importing our existing bendy links files in the network adjustments ribbon we see that we have a button to apply bendy links from GIS. If we click this button we can then locate our .gis file and open this. In the situation where we don't already have bendy links available to us we're able to use the software to trace bendy links. In this situation we click on the button we're able to choose which part of the network we want to trace the bendy links on. In this case we're going to do all links that are visible in our mapping window. If we, for example, imported a GIS file and then wanted to use the program to try and get the, the bendy links for any remaining links, we can use we can leave this option turned on to try and do so. Then we have a number of parameters which tell us the the way in which SatView will create the bendy links. The default parameters will in a well in a network with a good set of node coordinates will generally effectively bendy around 90% of the links but these values can inevitably be tinkered with to try and get a better outcome for your network. Once we're happy with all these parameters we hit the trace button at which point the program tries to trace each of the bendy links based on the Bing Maps background. So in a case where the Bing Maps background is incorrect or if we're coding a future network where that part of the network doesn't exist yet bendy links will inevitably not be able to work so it will have to be done manually in a separate process. The process uses the Bing Maps road layer to try and locate the bendy links. So if your node IDs are not over the road itself you'll need to move them for the bendy link process to work correctly. As you can see the process works up to 15 links a second so for a large network it will take a fair amount of time but this is the nature of the task that you're doing. For a, a small area of network like we're doing at the moment the process is fairly quick. After, after tracing all the bendy links it runs a series of processes to make sure this, all this data is saved. At the end it will ask us if we wish to load a tracing report. If we click yes and then in the summary window click tracing report at the bottom this gives us a summary of all the links at which it's tried to create the bendy links. And it, at the bottom is the various ways in which it's tried to trace it. So if we click a single link and we turn on all the various options, it will show us the various ways in which it's tried to trace it. In this case the bendy links haven't worked because the initial part of the link is one way due to the exploded nature of this junction. So we can see it's tried to route round the long way and as such has decided given the, the distance compared to the crow fly it hasn't applied it. In this case we'd need to use we'd need to use the manual process that we'll see in a second. But if we find that one of these one of these values here is correct, we can right click and hit apply to that link for that that version of the bendy links to be applied. If we think that all the all the cleaned column values are correct we can hit the apply button here. We can also load in a tracing report made previously if we we had already corrected a proportion of our bendy links and wanted to carry on doing so. We can see from our small network that the majority of links have worked correctly but a few haven't done so which can be investigated further. If for example we look at this link we can see that the issue here relates to the node coordinates. 
we can use the move nodes button up on the, the home ribbon. If we click this button, we simply click on the nodes and move it to the appropriate location. On this occasion, I moved it further into the center of the Bing Maps. Because there was already a bendy link associated with this node, it gives us the option to retrace this, which is the, the link to the, the west of this node, and we can see that this has instantly been retraced. This link here should now trace. We're able to right click and ask it to, man to retrace this single bendy link for us. If we click this button, we can very quickly see that the program has correctly traced this link. Further down this road, we also saw another link that hadn't that hadn't correctly traced. In this location, we again see that the node is actually on the link, but it's slightly back from the merge point. Due to the nature of this junction not being exploded, we inevitably can't move this node. But SatView gives us the option to trace the bendy link manually. This enables us in this small window to change the start and end points of the bendy link. So we can drag this pin here to a point further back up the link. It will trace the bendy link from that end point to the start point. We're also able to move the start point if wished. And then between this new end point and our actual node location, a straight line will be drawn. We can then hit the apply button. As we can see, this process has now created this bendy link. When we're happy with our section of network that has bendy links, in the, in the network adjustment option, we then have the option to export bendy links. If we hit this button, SatView opens the folder for us in which it's created these output files. It creates a .gis file for us, which can be used for importing into SatView, P1X, and other softwares in future. It also produces this GIS format in another format and in a .dat format so that it's as flexible as possible for us. As we've also moved to node coordinate, we have the other exporting option to export to a Saturn 555 card. If we hit this button in the same folder, it's now created a, a node 5 card export. All the data from this DAT file can be imported into your main DAT file and the nodes are therefore updated. These changes can be added into a new SatView session if required using the apply G bendy from GIS option as well as applying node coordinates from DATs. So that concludes our session on SatView Bendy Link.